G'day guys, what's cracking? It's Ralph here and today I want to share with you some of my learnings of the last number of years working with Nikon cameras. And there are nine settings, shortcuts, hacks that I use on a daily basis that make my use of the camera far more effective and far more enjoyable. And I wanted to share them with you. And so hopefully all nine are brand new, but if not, maybe one or two are. So I'd encourage you to watch to the end. I'm gonna use the Nikon Z6 to explore these things and talk about these things, uh, but they do apply to nearly every model of Nikon. So don't be too disheartened. But what you do need to know is sometimes if it's a custom button say at f2 on the z6 it might be f1 on a d7200 so there are slight alterations so this think of it like for some it might be exactly the gps coordinates you're looking for but others it's a roadmap to getting the solutions that you want but you'll see by the end of this video that some really helpful things that will really benefit you and i'd encourage you if you have other ones that will benefit us put them in the comments below if you have any questions as we run through this please let me know uh, subscribe like and let's get into it that's right. What that means is when you take a photo like this and you preview it later on, it comes up as a long photo, but you actually don't need it orientated the right way because you're looking for the detail and the composition. You can turn your camera like this if you have it covering the whole screen. And so to do that, you simply go into the menu, go playback, rotate tool and turn it off. That gives you more real estate of the photo on the back of the screen. This one took me ages to work out, but gosh, it's really helpful. When you take a photo and you play it back on the Nikon cameras, it's very hard to quickly scroll through your photos. And sometimes you just want to bang through a bunch of them without going into the multiple preview icons and then finding your way through that. You want just to be able to zip this way or zip this way. And you do that, you access this dial by simply going into the custom menu. We're going to go F, F5, customize command dials down to menus and playback we're going to go right on that and we're going to go make sure that says on with that on it means when you look at a photo you can scroll one way or the other to bust through those photos as quick as you like I'm a big fan for not looking at every photo after I press the shutter button you know what the photo looks like. You were just looking through the camera when it shot. Now, if you have a DSLR, there's there's, um, there's good reason you might want to do that to make sure your exposure is right. But you can test that by either using your histogram or your light meter built in. So to speed up your photography, I tend to turn it off. Choosing menu. Once on playback, you go down to image review and you simply turn it off. So what about when you've taken a photo and you need to immediately see if the focus is bang on? Well, there's a way to do that with simply one button and that is the OK button. So when you're in preview mode, you hit the OK button and it zooms into a 200% magnification, which means you can see if the eyes especially or a particular element that you are shooting is in focus and it will zoom it in to the focus point that you've pre-selected and you'll see if you're actually on point and if your photo looks really sharp. To access this, we go into custom settings, we choose F, which is controls. We go F3, which acts as the OK button. And then we're going to go playback mode and zoom on, off and high magnification at 200%. The other thing we can do while we're programming our OK button in F3 is go to shooting mode, click that. And if you go reset, it selects center focus point. What that means is when you are shooting and you don't know, sometimes the light's really bright or really dark and you can't work out where your focus point is or it's gone astray or you've hit the screen, it's a touch screen. If you just select that, once you press OK, it brings the focus square right back to the center of the photo. All right, let's talk about playback options. When you play your photograph back, when you press the play button, it gives you some data to accompany the photograph. And sometimes you want that data and sometimes you don't. And here's what I think is really helpful. If you go menu, go to the playback option, which is our first menu, playback display options. And right here, you can choose what extra information exists 
on your playback screen as different options as you move through them. And so I've chosen focus point because I like to see where my camera is focusing. I like my exposure info, so it tells me what f-stop, what ISO, and what shutter speed I have. And I also have the option for none. And the reason I have none is when I scroll back through those photographs, I can have a look at the one that has none that's just a photo and I can make sure the composition and everything included in the photo is everything I want included in the photo. And you simply access that by hitting your play button and then the, dis the display button runs you through all those different options as you're looking at your photograph. Now on the Z cameras, they have two function buttons in here. Yeah, right where your hands go, very, very handy. I use my top one to give me instant playback and my bottom one to select my area focus mode and my auto focus mode. So we'll look at them in just a sec, but there are other function buttons on your camera that I would encourage you, if you're not using them for anything else, if you're just not using them, like this one's a good one, the exposure compensation, if you're not using that at all, reprogram it so it can give you quick access to a function that you would really enjoy and use frequently. So for this one, we're gonna reprogram the top one and we do that by going into custom menus, go to F, go to controls, we go to F2, customize control assignment, and there we choose function one, which is that one there. If I select that, I can then choose from all of these and you can have a look through and see what you like, but I'm gonna choose playback. That means as soon as I take a photo, I just have to press this with my finger. So I'm shooting like this. I press this with my finger right there and it displays my photograph straight away. So instead of having to come around with another hand or anything, I can just click, click, good to go. And then my bottom function button, I use that to determine my focus mode. So whether it's continuous, manual focus or stable, which I control with the back circular dial, or I can go the aperture dial at the front and I can choose my focus mode and it runs me through all those different options, which is very, very handy and I use on a frequent basis. To access this, you go menu, custom settings, F for controls, go to F2, custom control assignment. Again, we're gonna to go to function two, which is on this side. I'm gonna click on that and that's gonna give me focus mode slash autofocus area mode. That's the one I wanna use. I'm gonna select that and that gives me those options as I need them. Now I've left the last one for last because it's probably the one that you're least likely to dash and change your camera to, but gosh, it's it's really made a difference. And that's what's called back button focusing. Back button focusing uses this button here with your thumb, you focus instead of a half press, you know, usually half press to focus and then all the way to take the shot. This one you, you focus with the back button and the half press is disabled so you can just shoot all the way. The beauty of this is you can actually focus something in, have it good to go, and then when you come to take the shot, you're shooting exactly what you've pre-focused on rather than it refocusing, which sometimes it does. So you might you might program it here and then you tweak it like this, and when you go this one, um, it doesn't refocus and muck up your shot. So it takes, it's an acquired taste, but there's two steps to actually move to only using this. And that first is you have to back, activate the back button autofocus and then you have to disable the half press. And so you activate the back button autofocus by turning on F2. So we'll go to F2 and we go down to the AF on. I simply put that on. I went on AF on and I select that. We're good to go. And then all I need to do is turn off the shutter. And so that requires me to go to A7. So if I go to A7, which is autofocus, I go down to A7, which is autofocus activation. I click that, and what I want to do is select AF on only, which means the back button on only, enable that, and we are good to go. How's that? Was that helpful? Nine tips settings, shortcuts, hacks that I've found incredibly helpful to my workflow, to enjoying what I'm doing and to having control over my camera. The camera has the ability to do these things, but often we just sit with the default settings. So I hope this has been helpful. Love to hear your feedback on whether it has or not. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.